Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> he just got he just got talked down to by Caden. <laughs> I'm a joker. Alrighty, so if anybody is curious what we are playing today, obviously when the game little intro was playing, you saw the game called Mass Effect. Or at least that's what they refer to this game as. Um Many of you are probably wondering, Demon, why are we playing Mass Effect? Also, why are you playing as this character? I thought we already did Mass Effect 1 2. This is Legendary Edition. I never played Legendary. Well, I'll take it back. I have a character that's going through uh, the Legendary Edition. But um, when I was playing as them, I decided to say screw it. And I wanted to make this character. Because I still have my other character off the old one still running around. Um, the other issue I kind of ran into, and it is a big, a, kind of a biggie, is. um. One or two episodes don't have me talking, so I said screw this, I'm just going to redo this, and I made this character for it, so I'm, I'm going to be running through as this character. So I, I figured if I was playing the originals and I had that female character, I might as well make a male character for this and have some extra fun. So, 
it's kind of what I made my character look like. I had to cycle through a lot of presets. Um, the cheek width isn't necessarily the happiest thing in the world, but you know what? I think I can love, love this character, so let's go ahead and go and get into it. Dr. Preston. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I wonder if I should go through all this. Um... Nah, well... I, I'm just gonna play through it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. If it feels like, if I feel like there's something important to, to, to actually discuss over, I will discuss it, but, um, for the most part, I'm just gonna kind of ignore me, some of the less important stuff. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope Damn, you're your kidding, blue. Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. <laughs> this is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. So I've just seen You're Chalk prime, was freaking coughing in her hand. Me, like? first thing I think is, very is COVID. Peaceful, Commander. <laughs> They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. Ooh. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Oh, the captain's fine. waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Bye, everybody. Good luck. We're going to go have fun. Hey, look, it's not this buddy. Hi, buddy. Jesus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof yep. that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Uh, I remember this. This is where the lips get weird. Everybody watch lips. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. 
The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Pog? You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Uh. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. Uh, What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. It's getting real. I like this. Get down! I think he's dead. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Stealth systems. That's a lot of red. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. <laughs> Nihilus will scout our head. He will feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio. <laughs> what the hell was that? We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. What the hell we was are that? Drop point two. Why did it sound like somebody just uh, just breathed in a bunch of hydrogen? Jesus. What's that audio? Yeah, this place got hit hard, <laughs> <laughs> Keep your guard up. 
Oh, that's so funny. I love video games. Oh, that, that, now that, that made me chuckle. It sounded like he was high on hydrogen. Alright, we're going for three and charm. I don't give a damn. Alright. So, if anybody is curious as to what my character currently has access to, they are a infiltrator, as you can see it there and see right there. So, my focuses are on Pistol Elliot's Sneaper Refuse, and that's about it. Um, one thing I will be doing, since I have not done it before, is um, I'm going to be playing the hell out of uh, making this character as good of an infiltrator as possible. I've never played this class. I always did Soldier and I've done Adept, um, so I'm definitely going to be running around doing different things. Um, one thing I also won't have access to is, even though I do have training for the assault rifles and shotguns, I find them to be on my lower end of importance because I won't be able to upgrade them in any way. Uh, so what we're going to focus on first is getting Charm all the way up. Charm is going to be primary. Uh, then we're going to be getting this, and then the other two I'm going to be aiming to get done is electronics. Um, electronics and decryption are usually my big ones. Uh, mainly because if I get these two up, then I can start hacking into stuff a little bit easier. I recommend doing it. Um, I typically do it for, like, most of my classes. Because it just makes sense to do. Um... Tactical armor is going to be the other thing, so I'll probably be doing this all the way upgraded, this needs all the way upgraded, then I'm probably going to start doing armor, um, I'll do armor until I get to advanced shield boost, jump down to fitness and get up to immunity, and then run back up here and get pistols, so it's primary, secondary, bam, bam, come back up here and do the rest. Um, the other thing I might do is this first aid. I might get first first aid um, once it's done. But uh, electronics are what I'm going to be focusing on. Besides, I'm, I am I rarely use snipers in this game, so I'm going to go all out snipers and pistol Elliots. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And if I remember correctly, I think if I click, is it X? Yes, automatically pull out the other weapons, so this works for me. Well. Pull that pistol Elliot. Let's go ham. Yeah, there's a little gas thing, you think, poof. I still like the fact that it sounded like he just smoked in a bunch of hydrogen. That made me chuckle pretty good. That was horribly great. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, God. I feel better after that yawn. Oh, my God, that is beautiful. Oh. Oh, my God, I can one-shoot bitches. Hell yeah, brother. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. I never got over the fact of how robotic uh, Shepard sounds in Mass Effect 1. Like, I think the female character is maybe not as robotic. Um, the male character definitely does sound very robotic in certain aspects. Like, there's not enough, there's not, like, enough feelings or emotions put into it. But I, I do remember in Mass Effect 2 and especially 2 that the voice actor who does him like really opens up with that character. I love it more. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you the next time. Yeah, this actually ain't that hard. I didn't realize this sniper's actually the same too. I've been using this a long goddamn time ago. I ran through here with an assault rifle on my other character. Sneakers are OP. I like this game. I'm glad I went infiltrator. This is gonna be kind of a pog. I'm not gonna lie, you're just walking around casually while these two mer do this to this poor man. Like, literally, you walked right by that and you thought that was okay. Now you two are concerned with the person with the gun? Gone. Gone. Hey, wait, hold. Hold a minute, hold a minute, hold a minute, wait. Oh. I wanted to shoot him again. Thank you for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. How do you know I'm, how do you know I'm Commander? 
Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Because they're dicks. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Yeah, what else help. do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Move out. Let's go. Alright, let's open this crate. Oh my god, there's an upgrade kit. I love it all. Give me more. Light armor. It's better than what I have now on. Yes. Take that. Ah. Uh, Okay, that I thought. Okay, I thought that looked a lot weirder than it did. I thought there was like an extra layer getting added to that. Yeah, I don't believe in telling these AI what to do. They're stupid. They're all gonna die. I shoot you once. You won't die. Why are you just standing there? Same reason why you are. Uh, excuse me, I gotta switch pistol. Hold it. Hold it. Hey, hey, little bastard, I won. Where's your buddy at? It's F, melee. <laughs> hey, it is, you little bastard. That's where they dig sites at? That's a lot of bodies. Damn. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Both? Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay, let's go up. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Ooh. What pistol do I currently have? Is it better than what I have? Damage is better. Fog. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I don't care what you do, Nihilus. I got a freaking sniper and it's OP. I love this gun. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> Look at these creepy bitches. Oh god, they're still alive. Oh yeah, they are. What did the do to them? Um manipulated them with technology. Winner. Winter Pog. I'm gonna throw that and see what happens. Yeah, I shot your face off. Hopefully, I, hopefully it's a good death. Cool. Has there a cutscene that plays here? Does not appear so. Actually. Okay. Can't you? Oh, it says Skimitar. I thought that said uh, Minotaur. I don't know why I thought the word Minotaur was going across my screen. It's still hilarious. Um, Duelist Heavy Armor. Wow, I already got the Heavy. Too bad I'm not a big fan of Heavy Armor. I, I just never get into it. Uh, bam, ah, bam, 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 bam. Open door, friends. Humans, thank the Maker. That's Hurry, a Dragon Age reference. The door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. 
What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds like this guy. of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. He high as hell. He makes a sane person look like... Oh, I can't say that word. You're gonna make trouble. It's an R word. I almost said it. I will say this much. It is fun playing as uh, this character. I, I kind of getting into it. Sarah. No idea who Chowin is. Friends! His eyes are weird. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Ooh. Um, I think Nihilus is dead. That's a big ass something. Yeah. I will say, um, in comparison to Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 1 had a much darker looking atmosphere that made Sovereign's textures not look nearly as bad. Um, well, actually, I'd probably have to go back and actually play Mass Effect 1 to confirm that or not. That or go watch my video that I have. Um, that I post on the channel and all. But, um, why am I picking out the same sniper rifle again? Sometimes I wonder about this game. But, um, yeah, that's the one thing. Like, so, like I do like the lighting textures a lot more. It, it It's more appealing to the eye. Because it, it, it's, it's not like you're stuck looking at it. I think I just accidentally kicked it out. Um, actually, no, it's not that. It's V. How the hell did I hit V? Because um, I like the lighting here more. Like, I like the lens bloom. I like that light. I know some people, it's probably killing them right now that I'm looking at that. But, um, yeah, it was really cool. Uh, that's the only thing I like about this one more is the lighting difference. Because I think the other one is just total darkness. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. I think you're armed. You have is it safe? Are they gone? All six of you have six of them. Or all three of you have six you're of them. You're okay now. Nobody's going to hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. 
think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Thanks, douchebag. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. What else you got in this? Combat sensor. Stinger 2! Pog! I like this guy. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, what we got in here? We got, we got a storage locker that says easy mode. And boom, 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 boom. Alright. So what about that armor? Is that just the same armor I'm already wearing? Wait, that's worse armor. How? Wait a minute, how is that worse? I thought all the armors were exactly the same. Wait a minute, it ain't. Oh, that's the dullest armor. Ah, okay. Um, he gets more shields, but he has less damage production and no tech biotic production. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. I want to be every color of the goddamn rainbow. Well, like I said, I, 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 love, I love the textures that they do in this. This is amazing. Hey, look, Commander. it's a... It's not us. Eh, it'll be fine. Gimme, 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 gimme. Chemical rounds, armor piercing rounds. Uh, do we have any ammo for the sniper that I can add to it? Um, chemical rounds, 35% toxicity damage, 6 damage per second. First synthetics. Okay, that's actually really useful. Um... I'm gonna give me that two on you. Combat sensor, I'm not necessarily that worried about, so I think I'm just gonna kind of ignore that. Alright, let's go for here, buddy. Damn, that's a lot of blood. A Turian? You know him? It's our boy. We lost a boy! He was with us in the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Yeah, I can tell that. That's why your name is Pal. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Give me that idea. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, 
I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up for them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next... Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise. This... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Pog. I like high explosives. Alright, kill some of these bastards. They're flying in. Oh, I missed that shot like an idiot. I missed that one. Missed that one. Missed that one too. Oh, goodness. Why the hell are you picking this gun up again? I hate this game. <laughs> it doesn't remember what I last grabbed and that irritates me. Actually, I remember doing this before. I kept thinking they had, they had like, the, uh, Drench Trooper ones that come out. You're dead. You might be dead. Yeah, you're dead man. You bastard. Are you really gonna run all the way over here? Nope. <laughs> it looks like he tripped. <laughs> I love this game. I just see you. Yeah, you there you little bastard. I see your little ass. Just pick your little head up there and shoot you. Hey, what do I have his abilities? Overload damages enemy seals with a certain radius. Sabotage ever heats a nearby enemy weapon and burns them for minor damage. On. Pick that little head up the crack and get it. Come on, put that little head up. I'm gonna come get you. I'm gonna get you if you don't put that little head up. Better hurry. I actually have a better idea. <laughs> Winner. 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 Take that little head up. I'm gonna meet you. And go. Alrighty. That was fun. Alright, guys. But um, unfortunately, we do have to end the episode here. I don't really want to end the episode here, but it's over 30 minutes, and I'm trying my best to do these at 30 minute intervals. Um, 
and I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this off. Some episodes will probably be longer than this, other ones probably won't be. Um, I know I'm not talking too much in casual talk like I usually do when I'm like playing Vicky 3, or not oh God, Vicky 3, like Vicky 2, Hoi 4, but it's kind of like you're more focused in on this game and trying to play, and it's a lot more fun that way. Um, I promise I'll try to make up for that later, but I truly am enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. I, I'm getting in the mood to play as this character, and it, it I, I love Mass Effect. Mass Effect 1, 2 are really good. 3's only got the story issues, and um, drama just sucks. So, I mean, this is literally one of my favorite trilogies I've played. Um, and I'm also blitzing through this because this episode is getting released tomorrow, which is going to be the first um, because I had to cut that other series out, and the only thing I have are backups or, like, Star Wars for more stupidity that I haven't done for a long time. And, um, besides the stupidity stuff, I think the only other thing I have access to is, um, Among Us content that's been sitting on my SSD for a while. Um, the only other option I have is to play a round of, um, uh, what do you call it, um, Big 2, Hoi 4, or something like that, but eh, I, I, I said screw it, I'm just going to play this. I'll play more of this tomorrow, so I definitely will get more episodes in tomorrow. I'll probably try to play for at least um, uh, 2 to 3 hours. Um, 2 is more likely. 2 and a half is unlikely, but one of those episodes are going to be pretty long, so please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Sorry everybody for this. Um, I probably will be making an update as well, because um, I, I feel like I probably I probably will do it after this. I'll have to wait and see. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.